Well, man, it's a great day. Well, uh, so it happened. Um, I'm recording this 20 minutes after I found out that my position was eliminated. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think I don't really know what to say just because, like, I mean, I, you know, this company I worked for, I've worked for them since, oh my gosh. I've worked for them since I basically was in college. Like I started working there like two months before I left college. I've been working there since, so like three years now. And it was cool. I mean, the people I met along the way were super cool. It was my first job. It moved me here to Austin. Like it's the reason that I'm here. And it was super great. The experience was super great, but we just basically ran out of money and pivoted so many times and so many things have happened that like eventually just my position is just gone. We're no longer gonna like support basically the software that I was writing. So obviously there's no need for the position anymore. And because they're so small, so strapped for money, they obviously can't you know move me somewhere else. Like there's no department that I can move to or something like that. But it's almost like, I, I don't know if I'm excited because I have an opportunity to take a little bit of time to do things like YouTube and my own apps and maybe maybe take the for the first time be able to like do what I like make my own like I'm I'm partially like I, I recognize the opportunity that this presents if I because like part of the reason I even started this YouTube channel is because I, I like and I'm an entrepreneur I love doing businesses I've made a fitness app I've made a college safety app I've done YouTube multiple times I had a gaming channel um, photo company with my girlfriend she's I'm like I'm helping her start that uh, mobile coffee business if you've ever heard me talk about that so like that's my passion is like businesses and startups so I I recognize that this could be a potential opportunity for me to do some really cool shit man yeah I'm gonna come back to this in like a little like just later okay okay so it is the next day um it is 10 30 on the next day <clears throat> on the next day I don't really have like a script for this video or anything normally some of my like more uh, professional videos where I like sit down I try to have some talking points or something I don't really have it for this video so just bear with me um, and I also don't want to make this one of those like I got laid off from my job it's like it sucks it's the thing that you know it happens but I don't want this to be like a down monotone terrible video I want to kind of like talk about my experience and like what I'm gonna do next and like what to do if you're in this position and that kind of stuff so first of all I was an iOS uh, developer. I say iOS because we switched from doing native iOS development to this thing called React Native, which basically allows you to write code one time and then run it on Android and iOS at the same time. So you only have to write the code once instead of twice. Um, so we switched over to that. So I was doing that. I started out doing uh, native development though, so that was kind of like where I came from. Um, and I switched over to doing the cross-platform stuff. This is really zoomed in. Yeah, that's better. That was kind of what my role was there. Um, and, you know, about a year ago, a little over a year ago, we transitioned. Um, we let we let go about, you know, half the company. Um, it was a really terrible time, but I made it through those cuts. And then we raised money. So we were like, cool, we're going to be fine. Um, and I, you know, I basically had no indication of like, we were running out of money because I, we, from what I knew from a tech point of view, because we didn't really get filled in on the business side of things as much is, we had an investment, we were doing fine, um, if fine enough to, the, what they kept saying was we were fine until the end of December uh, or the end of 2020 basically. Um, and then the way it was explained to me was because of COVID for some reason, those funds got less, like for some, I don't know why that would have happened because it, it seemed like it was already a secure thing. So I wasn't expecting to uh, get let go, but I was, it was, it's not surprising to me because the company has struggled so much over the past like year and a half, two years that it was almost like a stretch goal for it to be successful and to continue working the way that it was. So I'm not, I'm not surprised, but it does still suck. And I think like the most difficult part now is what to do with myself. <laughs> like, what do I do? And you know, I, I took some time last night, I talked to my girlfriend and we have a, a channel together, Brian and Haley, go check that out. Um, so I talked to her and she kind of, you know, we walked through some, some steps about like what to maybe do. The first thing I'm gonna do is today's Thursday. So I got laid off yesterday on Wednesday. Technically, 
my last day of work is like next Monday or something, but I, they, there's pretty much no expectation that I'm going to do any real work over that time. We kind of decided that until Monday, I'm basically just going to kind of like take it in, like relax, um, kind of maybe start planning out a few things, but not, I'm not going to start seriously doing anything until Monday just to kind of give me some time. Um, and the main reason for that is because I don't know what I want to do yet. And I think what I want to do is not go back to a full-time job yet. There's a couple app ideas that I have that I'm working on. Um, one of them is in the, the realm of esports, and one of them is the fitness app that I have. Uh, and then I have the YouTube channel. And then I also have opportunities to do contracting work, which means I wouldn't have to go back to a full-time job yet. I'd be able to put my time towards things like YouTube and my own businesses because that's what I'm really passionate about is starting businesses, entrepreneurship, that kind of stuff. Like coding is a means to an end. I can, I can have an idea and because I know how to program, I can make that idea a reality. But that intermediary step, the programming part, it's fun to me, but it's not like what I want to do forever. What I want to do is own my own thing. Whether or not that starts from programming or not, or if it's a physical product or something, eventually my end goal is to own my own thing. Like that could be a YouTube channel. It could be one of my apps. It could be a business. I do not care what it is. I'm one of those people who I just want to make things and I have so many ideas all the time. So I don't think I want to go back to a full-time job yet, which brings into the picture you know, contracting, which allows me to work for higher the pay. You get paid higher normally for contracting gigs and you would like a salary job because they're only you know, 10, 20, 30 hours a week. They're not full time. Um, so I'm basically getting like double the pay, but I'm only working 10 or 20 hours a week hourly. I'm not like getting paid a salary. Um, what that allows me to do is time to do other things, to work on my ventures and things like that. And the goal that I kind of have for myself is after two months, if I'm not really seeing any traction on any of my projects, then I'm going to start looking for a, another job. Um, but it gets a little bit difficult because I'm in Austin and we're thinking about moving back to Michigan eventually at the end of our lease. This was already like a thing. It wasn't like a new thing because of this. This is talked about forever. Um, the hard part is finding a remote job because I don't want to go into a job and tell them I'm planning on staying for a year when I know that I'm not. And I'm not, I'm not the kind of person just to like, you know, sneak by and try to pretend that. So if it's on the questionnaire or if they ask me, I'm, you know, I'm going to honest, I'm going to answer honestly, which means I'd prefer remote or the understanding that I could go to remote after, uh, you know, six months at the job or something like that. So I found some pretty cool places here that I could potentially apply for. Um, I, I don't want to work at a big company. I have no interest in working at a Fang company. So Fang is like Facebook, Apple, Amazon, Netflix, Google. I, I don't have an interest in working at one of those companies. I like the idea of startup culture of, being able to introduce ideas that actually can make a difference in the way the business runs. So like companies like my fitness pal, where technically it's owned by a giant company, you know, Under Armour, but the app and the business itself, my fitness pal is like a cool startup thing. They're based here. So, um, I was looking at them. There's like the knot here, bumbles here. So there's a lot of cool, more startup -y culture type companies that I'm interested in working at, but I don't have an interest in working at a super large company for now, just because, you know, like I said, my real passion is business ideas, entrepreneurship, like that kind of stuff. Bringing ideas into realization is what I'm passionate about, which is why this channel has always been kind of interesting because I like tech, but I don't only like tech, if that makes sense. Like I have, I bought this mic and then I bought, and then I bought this mic. So we have two of these super nice, um, road pod mics now because I want to, uh, start interviewing people, uh, founders and entrepreneurs on their startups because I know so many now being here in Austin, I've met dozens of them. So I really wanted to start a podcast to start hearing these stories. Like that's my real passion is business entrepreneurship, helping people, hearing stories, that kind of stuff. So finding out a way to potentially, you know, mix what I do with that would be awesome. And obviously the easiest, most obvious or not the easiest, but the most obvious route there is starting my own thing which is harder than it sounds. So, you know, that's a, a thing too. But yeah, I don't know. I think like overall, it kind of sucks. Mostly because I don't make money anymore. <laughs> I'm not too, I'm really not too torn up about, you know, the the job part of it, like the, the company part of it. Um, I was never like super passionate about what I was doing. Like it was just a, a thing to do. So yeah, I, 
if that even makes sense. I don't even know if this any makes sense anymore, but I have a couple of video ideas that I want to make. My goal is to start doing two to three videos a week, um, whether those are around tech, around business, or whatever. Um, most of this channel is going to revolve around tech and business, but that could be anything from a vlog, doing like a day in the life with somebody that I'm doing a podcast with, to a tech review that I want to do just because. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys stick around. You like the channel for me, not because I review strictly keyboards. Uh, I'm going to keep doing keyboards just because I like them right now, but it's not a keyboard review channel. So yeah, I love you guys. Thank you for listening to this crazy rant. And uh, yeah, I'll be okay. I'm going to do good. We're going to do big things around here. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.